to What's Up with Your Girl, and back with a brand new story time for you guys. So today, this YouTube video is going to be basically a story time of how I used to realize that this friend was using me. Um, I want to get this out because you should be known. Um, which guys my fans, and I want you guys not to get hurt like how I basically did. Um, um, so... I, I used to live in Ramos, and I used to go to Birth Elementary School um, to, I was 10. So I started school at 8. I believe I used to, I was all the way up into 3rd grade. So I started kindergarten, 2nd grade, 3rd grade, to 4th grade. Um, and then we moved to Belleville. So let me just get into the story time. So I had this kid, I thought she was like best friends with me, you just always hang out, she used to come over, all of that. Um, like we were like best friends, we were clicking. So I realized one day that she was just using me when she came over to my house. So my parents had no problems with me having friends come over. I just had to let them know. Um we lived in this big apartment building. There was parks, tennis courts, sandboxes, the pool, all of that. It was, um, so I realized it because my little brain thinks things through. So, um, I went to the bathroom one day. I had my squishies out and I had my squishies out. And when I came out of the bathroom, I, they were not ripped up. And I asked her, how did my squishies get ripped up? She said, your dog said it. I'm like, girl, my dogs don't do that. They're trained. They listen. They don't do nothing wrong. Like, my one's just sitting up here. Where the heck she? Just in, it's right there. Just staring out the window, not doing nothing. The other one's just laying on the floor. Just laying on the floor with her rope. Cute, it can be. I'm just like, girl, she didn't, and my dogs did not do that. That's just rude to say. So, I'm just like ignoring it for a little while. Okay? Mind you, it's like 5 o'clock. We got out of school at like 6, uh, 5 to 6. Sometimes it could be 7. Depends on how long. Like, the, the bus takes to get us home. Um... So, at 7, I, uh, she went home. Um, and the next day, she had a complete attitude with me. I was not going for that. Like, if I did nothing to you, you have no reason to give me an attitude. So, I'm just, like, ignoring this. I, told, I, I just walked away and went and hanged out with my other friends. Because at the time, I had TikTok. I was known. So, um... I didn't even have TikTok at the time. I was just like the popular kid. I, I would say I was a popular kid, but I'm not going to use that. I was just, I think people liked me because I was nice. I used to always say hi, like how was things going, stuff like that. I was just like always nice. But then like if you hit my nerves, then I'm just going to leave it alone. So, just left her alone. So, I didn't, I wasn't playing the attitude game. So at some point she used to irritate me. Because she used to say I did things when I didn't do it. Like, one time she said, I stole something from her. Or I went through her phone. I'm like, no, I did not do that. And then, one time we were outside at the park. Because it was around recess time. That's what you would call it. Um... She tripped me, and I don't like that, for one. And the teacher seen it, so I, I was, like, happy for it, too. Um, but I wasn't playing for that, because, one, she scraped my knee. So at that point, I just wanted to go home. I was done with the day. I was done with school. But it's like me. I want to get good grades. I want to learn. But it's like this kid's just hating on me. The part of this video that I want you to take from this, be careful who you come friends with. And if you're thinking that they're using you, don't be friends with them. Because that's just the wrong thing and that's just going to hurt you.
So, the next part of this segment of this video, the story time, is this kid, I gave him my phone number, even though I got a brand new phone, um, she is calling me this one night, and this is literally true, literally true. She called me one night around 11 o'clock, and I was sitting on my bed just scrolling through TikTok. This random number showed up. I forgot the darn number, too. So I just answered it and asked, like, hello, who is this? Like, um, not being mean at all. So this is Popeye's, and said I ordered an order from Popeye's. And said your order will be there in 10 minutes. I'm like, I tell the person, I did not order no Popeye's. First of all, I tell the person, it's 11 o'clock at night. Who eats at 11 o'clock at night? The exact time was 11.30. So I tell the person, it's 11.30. Who eats at 11.30? It's almost midnight. It's almost the next day. She goes, ma'am, you don't need to get an attitude with me. I'm like, bro, bro, who wouldn't? She's like, just calm down, calm down. I'm like, in my little head, I'm thinking, what the heck? So the next thing I asked for was the address and the phone number. She's like, ma'am, I can't give that out. I'm like, yeah, you can if it, I ordered it. So my mom comes in the room. She asks, what's going on? I said, someone's on the phone saying they're Popeyes and I ordered an order. I'm like, so the next thing I do is I just hang up the phone and say, forget it. I didn't order the food. So if the food shows up, yeah, it's free food. That's what I just took from it. So the next day, the number, is that number calls me and says, I ordered Popeyes again. So I'm like, can you give me the phone number and can you give me the address? Or, what I'm, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to call the cops and ask the cops for the address and the phone number because this is ridiculous. So, what I did is I looked through my phone for the exact number that kept on calling me, which is the smart thing to do. Um, and I texted the person It said, hey, this is you. Can you please stop doing this to me? Like, this is irritating. Then I texted her mother and said, her, this her kid is basically irritating me like badly so that's what i want to take from you is this kid is basically doing this is because she wants call she wants my thing and even though i'm not trying to say i'm famous and all that because that's just wrong i love you guys and i care for you guys a lot you guys are my fans and i love you guys to support so much that's what this kid is doing because she's seeing me get somewhere is what I'm trying to tell you guys because when I was back living in Romulus and going to Barth, I didn't have what I had now. I didn't think about any of this now, what I'm thinking about now. The only thing I thought about back then was think about your school. Think about that. Don't think about anything else except for getting yourself somewhere. That's what I thought about. And then dance and gymnastics because that's all I was doing back then. That's all I'm doing now because I love that. But then I started... When I moved into Belleville and all that, and Taylor and all that, and where I'm now, this is what I started thinking about. Dance, gymnastics, cheerleading, and this. Because this is what I love doing. That's what you guys need to think about. Don't think about If you think someone's hating on you because of something that you love doing, tell them you need to back off. This is my life. Don't tell me what to do. Because all you need to think about is that. This is your life. That's what this kid is basically doing to me. She's calling me at like 11 o'clock at night. That's ridiculous. Yes, sometimes I don't go to bed until 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. But then I sit up sometimes editing, making TikToks, watching YouTube. That's most kids. Well, yes, yeah, some kids don't edit and stuff, but I do that. Um, you still don't have the right to call someone at 11 o'clock at night. How do you... Once I was calling me at like 12 o'clock, I was sleeping. I wake up to my phone because my phone, the ringtone of my phone wakes me up. Especially if you call me four or three times, <laughs> more than like four times, I'm going to wake up. The first of all, I sleep with my phone sometimes on the charger. But that's, that's what I'm trying to give you guys is be careful of who you come friends with. If you think they're using you, then you need to be careful or you need to tell your parents that you feel like you're getting used because I knew I was getting used the way that I realized I was getting used was because 
The kid kept in asking me for money, A. Sometimes I didn't even have it, but sometimes I did. Then I realized it started going missing, like, because I used to have, a, like, a wallet inside of my backpack, and then it would go missing. One time, I didn't think anything of it. Maybe I thought, I thought one time, maybe I just left it at home and just brought the wallet, because sometimes I do that. My little brain sometimes is not active fully in the morning if I don't have coffee or pop. Then I realized that my squishies and slime were going missing. The kid was using me because I had, like, the toys that were in or I had something that she wanted. That's basically how I was seeing that I was getting used. So I just gave up at the point and said, this is enough. Enough is enough. Get out. Basically, that's what I said. And I don't want to be friends. But that's what I wanted to take from the segment. Is be careful who you come friends with and who you hang out with. That's what I want you to say. So that was the story time of today, how I realized I was getting used by a friend. I hope you guys like the story time. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Love you.